<laughs> Thank you for reminding me. She she was there for an, an, a, a good while working. I, just, I couldn't wait. I just couldn't get over the cow pictures. Sure. She was caught up in morning traffic in India. There were cars all over the place. And then she sh shot photographs, and you saw all this cattle moving down the highway. And by the way, if the cattle wants to come across the highway, you darn well better stop. Because it's revered. And she said that, you know, she, you know, she uh, I don't know, she had a hard time. You know, she was so careful about what she ate. She had to get into a high-end hotel. You know, you worry about the water. You worry about the food. I mean, it was a nightmare. I don't know. I'm just saying. I know people that want to go to India for vacation. Maybe my guest, Lisa Kilgore, wants to go. She lives in a pretty beautiful place. It would take a lot, I think, to lure her away from where she lives. Lisa, welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Would you go Thank to you for me back. Would you go to India for a medical procedure? I don't know. Um, I also live in Canada, so to pay for medical procedure, the trip to Mexico. So, um, in Mexico. How you know? It's, it's interesting. You know all these things. This is good. <laughs> uh, let's talk about. <laughs> I know you came here that you had some things on your mind. Uh, how do you feel about? Do you call? I needed surgery. It's all taken care of, and okay. I don't have to even think about it. All right. Uh, so that's the good part. What's the bad part? Sometimes it's hard to get a GP, like a a, a regular doctor. Um, it's. It, it, the, I've worked. I worked in integrative cancer care for many years, and what's lovely is that that like treatment is whatever you need. But every once in a while, I'd work with somebody who didn't have a GP, so there wasn't a doctor um, where all of their testing could come to, and and so they were using walk-in clinics instead. That that was a, f a frustrating thing for them, and that can be kind of common where I live. There aren't a, there aren't enough GPs for everybody out here. Um, but otherwise, if it's an emergency, you get in right away. If it's elective, sometimes there's a wait. Um, I've had friends who've had to wait for, like, an MRI for a few months. Um, but there's a, there's the option to pay for it if you want to. Mm -hmm. So, I, I ha like, I've lived in this my whole life. I don't know anything different. Mm -hmm. um, but when I hear of alternatives, I'm like, well, this is so much easier than that. What, why do you need a GP? Is that required? Does everybody have to have a GP, a general practitioner? Not really. It's just when you're, if you're dealing with a big um, a diagnosis, it's nice to have some doctor that's getting the results of every test of every see. specialist that you're seeing. To manage just the so medical traffic. Receptacle. Yeah, to manage yeah, all that exactly. medical stuff. I get it. And and happily, we we had a doctor in our facility who'd then be that person for those people. So it, it all worked out. And I worked in, I was paid for by the government giving um, uh both preventative treatment as well as alternative treatment for people with cancer. Um, and we were fully paid for by the government. Wow. Boy, smart guest. I I, that's why I love doing this show. We'll be back. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. The science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence. One way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair. Ridgecrest Herbal's award-winning Hair Revive can support healthy, attractive hair. Hair Revive is formulated with a stress-fighting complex, hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start
start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation, and it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Is getting a good night's sleep a challenge? Fortunately, there's a superior fast-acting sleep formula called Tranquil Sleep from Natural Factors. This non-habit-forming supplement contains a unique combination of melatonin, 5-HTP, and L-theanine, which works in harmony with your body's natural sleep hormones. Tranquil Sleep can help you fall asleep, stay asleep, sleep sounder, and wake up refreshed, all without feeling drowsy in the morning. The key benefit comes from increasing the time spent in the deeper stages of sleep. It's only in these deeper levels of sleep that we truly experience the rejuvenation, regeneration, and recuperation that sleep provides. Even if you think you get a good night's sleep, give Tranquil Sleep a try. You might be surprised with how much better you've slept by waking up with more energy and enthusiasm to start your day. Learn more at naturalfactors.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Stephen has been with me for so long, he can read my mind. Honestly, it's amazing. <laughs> he knew what I was thinking. Uh, we have a caller. His name is Aegis. And uh, his, we have computers in here, and of course. And Aegis's name is up in front of me from St. Petersburg. And I was thinking, I wonder how you pronounce that. And, and Stephen said, <laughs> his name is Aegis. <laughs> Just as I was thinking, boy, that's scary. Aegis, welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. You had a question about protein shakes. We have a nutritionist as a guest today, so we'll get her to answer your question. What was what was your question? My question would be, you know, I have a dad. He lives in Lithuania, and recently you see he started losing his muscle mass, you know. Yes. Because, you know, he doesn't move that much around. My brother taking care of him. Yeah, how old is and, he? How old uh, is he? 
he is like 75. 75, yes. It's that's called <laughs> that's called that's called sarcopenia when you're losing muscle mass um and you're wanting to know if he would take protein shakes if that would help? Yes. All right, let's talk about that for a second. Lisa, welcome back. Uh, what's your take on that and the whole notion of sarcopenia in the elderly? This is where protein shakes really shine. Um, I'm not a big fan of everybody supplementing with extra protein every day, but there's a time and a place for it. And with seniors where both their diet and their appetite usually can get poor, their digestion can get poor too. So to bring in like a whey protein isolate uh, protein, which is incredibly absorbable, can help at least reduce that sarcopenia. Um, and it, it, it can be very effective for seniors, because usually when the muscle mass is, is going, so is bone mass. They usually go at the same time, and protein can help with both, but especially with that that muscle, because you want to keep it as you age. Do you know how much your uh, Do you know how much he weighs? Is it your Is it your father? Yes, he's my dad. Yeah. Yeah. How How much does he weigh? Do you know? Wow, well, recently you just lost maybe another eight pounds. It's a 45 uh, kilos. It would be like, I think, so 90-something pounds. Oh, my. Uh, he, needs, he needs to gain some weight here. Um, so, mm -hmm. you, you know, I don't know. Uh, you could, you, I'm sure he has access to it. If not, you can send it to him. There's all kinds of protein. Yeah, probably pro going to send him. Yeah. Okay, so they have protein weight gainers. It's not just protein, but it has carbohydrate in it and fat. Uh, you might want to consider that as well um, as an option where it's not just protein. Uh, you're trying to put some weight on them. Uh, but what do you think of that uh, approach, Lisa? What about that strategy? But that's a good, a good idea, as well as possibly some B vitamins because they can stimulate appetite. Because uh, a lot of the time when there's weight... Flora doesn't make B vitamins, right? Not, not specifically, no. No, okay. So uh, what you can do, each is for B vitamins, Country Life Vitamins has a, a coenzymated B product. It's a, it's a multiple B, but the, it, they are coenzymated. They're ready to be absorbed. Um, so you might want to consider getting him a bottle of that uh, and then a protein weight gainer, a good quality protein weight gainer that has carbohydrate, fat, and protein in it. In other words, it's high in calories. This is a case where you know you're not, you want you want them to gain some weight, both muscle and fat. So that would be the recommendation generally. So which I could found probably in vitamin discount. Yeah, go to, you can go any health store here in the Tampa Bay area. There's vitamin discount center. There, I mean, there's a, a slew of them here in the Bay area. Uh, vitamin discount center. What part of town do you live in? St. Petersburg. Yeah, there's a store down there. Yeah, it is on Fourth Street. Yeah, yeah. I'm a customer there. <laughs> yeah, go over there. Uh, they'll they'll help you. Okay. All right, well, thank he you just. Very much. Thank you. Our pleasure. Uh, I, Lisa, I can't. Uh, re I know you had some things on your mind. We we have time. We have an, another whole hour yet. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to ask you. Uh, you alluded to the fact that you worked in an integrative cancer center. Yes, yeah, I did. For how many years? I, I worked there for two years. Uh. What were some of the best lessons you learned? Whatever, whatever, whatever lesson it is, I don't care. What were some of the lessons that you learned in working at an? Oh, what What did you learn? I learned a lot. Um, I learned how life can change in a dime. Um, that tomorrow may not exist. So to take to really be conscious and present to today. Um, I learned the power of nutrition, um, but also that it's not everything, and uh, stress plays a huge role, and um, so stress reduction techniques are very, very important. Um, but just feeding the body can bring in some energy, can even just bring in some hope, which can be necessary in, in the midst of a big diagnosis. Um, it was one of the, the uh, biggest learning experiences of my life, um, and I learned the most from the, the patients and clients that I worked with, um, just with their, the way they looked at life and how they were handling such a stressful time in their life. What did you learn about death? I learned, um, I learned, so, I learned a lot. Um, I, we, we lost a lot of our clients after I left, so um, um, I didn't get to see them necessarily in their last few weeks. 
Um, but because it was about two years after a four, uh, stage four diagnosis was a time like we they stayed alive for quite a long time. Um, I, I learned that it happens and that it's it's to really enjoy the moments and the ones who who lived the longest who had the who had the most number of years were ones that were really present in every day and and looked at this as a life changing moment. So what? How can I change my mindset, my lifestyle to um, really um, appreciate my body and the life I have right now? So a lot of people quit jobs and things they didn't enjoy, and those are the ones that really had longevity compared to those who stayed inside their life. Hmm. I got a, a million, a, f- a flood of emotions in hearing you talk about that. Uh, we come back. Thank you for sharing that. I'm not going to ask you anything. I just I'll let that I'll let that breathe. Lisa Kilgore okay. is my guest, and um, she's wonderful, as you can see. Thoughtful, insightful. If you didn't catch on, pretty good person. That's most important. We come back. We're, we're going to feature her again, of course, for the entire second hour of the show. Uh, I may follow up a little bit on what she said about working in that center. Uh, given my own experience and battle with cancer. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, coast to coast and globally. We love you. We love doing it. And that's why we're here. That's my story. I'm going to stick to it. Come back for that second hour. Uh, If you can't, everything is archived. Gary's gone to great pains to make sure that everybody has access. Everything's on YouTube. There's a lot on our own website at letstalknutrition.com. All the audio is under show schedule. There are some samples of videos, but the rest are on YouTube. And we're on Facebook. Message us there, and we'll message you back. Like us, and we'll like you back. Are you tired of being tired? So was Amanda until she tried Floridix Iron and Herbs. You can probably relate. Between juggling her job and family, she was constantly exhausted. She put off going to the gym and making her dinner every night seemed like a heroic task. Then she found out she had the most common nutritional deficiency in the U.S., iron deficiency. Amanda turned to Floridix, an easily absorbed plant-based liquid iron supplement. For over 60 years, Floridix has been helping reduce exhaustion and fatigue caused by iron deficiency. This formula is easy on the digestive tract and free of artificial colors and flavors. It even has vitamins B and C for enhanced absorption. No wonder it's the best-selling iron supplement in North America. Floravital provides all the same benefits as Floridix, but without gluten or yeast. Reclaim your energy with Floridix and Floravital, available at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com forward slash Floridix. Florahealth.com forward slash Floridix. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. The proceeding was a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. 1250 wins, WHNZ. Regardless of your age, whether you're in your 40s or 50s or 60s, you need to be aware that preparing for retirement is a long-term project. There's several things to consider. Accruing enough money, of course, but perhaps more important, keeping the money that you do put away for your retirement safe to keep from losing it. And that's where David Graham and the Graham Capital Advisors come in. They're committed to seeing that you have the peace of mind in knowing that your retirement will be secure to help you stay ahead of inflation and, of course, to make certain you aren't the victim of a major economic downturn that could wipe you out. And it's about protecting your assets to make sure you're not a victim of heavy taxation. 
And David and his advisors are fiduciaries, which means they don't work for a bank or a money market fund. They're working for you and your family in securing your financial future. When you're ready for that peace of mind, call David at 800-808-5009 for a free consultation or go to GrahamCapitalAdvisors.com. 1250 wins. WHNZ Tampa Bay. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. President Trump is expected to appear in the Rose Garden this hour to announce his signature on a spending bill to avert a government shutdown. He's also expected to announce he's declaring a national emergency so he can reallocate government money to pay for a border wall. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. The emergency declaration is part of a series of steps aides expect Mr. Trump to take to direct nearly $8 billion toward the wall's construction. The first, $1.4 billion for the border barrier, will come from the budget bill the president enacts into law today. Another $6 billion would be drawn from Pentagon accounts for military construction and drug interdiction. Six hundred million more would be redirected from drug-related forfeitures. Democrats like Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer are opposed. Declaring a national emergency would be a lawless act, a gross abuse of the power of the presidency. She's back. The Supreme Court says 85-year-old Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is in the building for the first time since she underwent surgery for lung cancer in December. Taps at Arlington National Cemetery, where John Dingell was laid to rest this morning. He was the longest serving member of Congress in American history. Dingell died last week at the age of 92. There's more rain on the way in waterlogged California. Correspondent Mola Lenghi is in Sausalito. Firefighters combed through a mountain of rubble to find 76 year old Susan Gordon trapped up to her neck in mud. Rosaline Bolger saw the rescue. They were doing all that they can. There was a lot of debris around her. Gordon suffered minor injuries after a hillside crumbled, lifting the home she was in off its foundation and sending it hurtling down the hill 75 feet. At least two deaths are blamed on this week's weather. They won't be using cats anymore to teach doctors about human airways and lungs at a hospital in Ohio. Live to CBS's Jim Taylor. Until people for the ethical treatment of animals complained, it was normal operating procedure at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital to practice bronchoscopy procedure on cats. PETA says there are alternative techniques to putting tubes down cats' throats, which it says can cause respiratory distress, collapsed lungs, or even cardiac arrest. Children's Hospital, they're now confirming it will no longer use animals to teach bronchoscopy. Deborah? A big surprise for a real estate investor in Philadelphia. Eckham Seiler says he was scoping out a home when his construction manager saw a small line in a staircase. When he pulled on it with a rod, a crutch swung down and a large knife attached, hanging right above him. Seiler calls it Home Alone, Philly style. The Dow is up 283. This is CBS News. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Rocket Mortgage is with you every step of the way to provide a seamless mortgage experience. Push button, get mortgage. Hey, Mike, how's the house coming along? <sighs> Needs a ton of work. The pipes are leaking. Needs a new roof. The AC just broke. I just don't have time to do it all myself. You know anyone? Oh, just ask Home Advisor. They match you with the best local pros for any home project. Cool. Yeah, you can read reviews and book appointments online. What's it cost? Actually, Home Advisor is always free to use. Nice. I'll check it out. Go to homeadvisor.com or download the free app. Home Advisor. It's time, time to join the millions of people that meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Zoom gives you flawless video, crystal clear audio, and instant sharing across any mobile, tablet, or desktop device. But the best thing about Zoom? It just works. So ditch the distractions, join the movement, and meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Visit zoom.us to set up your free account today. That's zoom.us, Zoom video conferencing. Mark Levin is now on 1250 WHNZ. We don't win this border fight, it's over, because that border will be open. The sanctuary cities will be enshrined, the open border will be enshrined, and uh, it's over. And you, and you see the media kooks, the anchors, the hosts, the reporters, the guests, whatever you want to call them. It's a conga line, and they go on and on and on. Hear Mark Levin, weeknights at 7. 
1250 WHNZ. We still look slow northbound on 275 on the eastbound east side of the Howard Franklin Bridge and westbound I-4 is slowing from the Selman Connector to 275. The direct in the right lane southbound on Dale Mabry at Calusa Trace Boulevard. A crash in the intersection of Florida and Fletcher and a vehicle fire on West Bay at Temple Lane. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Newark Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Universal Orlando Resort. Get a Universal annual pass and enjoy every night of Mardi Gras, February 9th through April 4th. As a pass holder, you'll see every live concert, enjoy your own parade viewing area, and get a chance to write a float. Visit UniversalOrlando.com slash Mardi Gras. Seasonal block updates apply. 1250 winds, weather center forecast. Look for a mix of sun and clouds today. A light breeze with the high reaching the mid-70s. Nice afternoon, 60 for the low tonight. And through the weekend, we'll start in the mid-70s Saturday. A bit of a breeze tomorrow as well, then getting up to around 80 on Sunday. Look for a slight chance of rain to start next week on Monday. Impact Radio, 1250 The wins. following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. During this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. And welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in uh, this winter edition of Let's Talk Nutrition. Lisa Kilgore, educator for Flora is my guest today. Uh, She was in that first hour and uh, will be with us in this entire second hour of LTN. Great guest. uh, If you caught her in the first hour, you understand why. Um, There's a lot trending today. Mike, it's a a rich target news day, I can tell you. Uh, So many different stories. I just don't know which one to grab. Uh, I report on quite a bit in that first hour. Uh, Everything from... uh, eating ultra processed and i i described and explained what ultra processed foods are and the risk now this new study published in uh, jama internal medicine uh showing that eating ultra processed food uh, food uh, increased the risk for early death because it promotes cancer promotes heart disease and so on well it's not shocking but all, there's processed food, and then there's ultra-processed. I explained the genesis of that, who, in, who invented that idea, and what the constituent elements of, of ultra-processed foods are. It's all it's convenience, primarily. These foods are foods of convenience, which conveniently cause you to die sooner rather than later, apparently, according to this new study. <clears throat> I remember growing up as a kid, uh, drinking juice was a big deal and orange juice, grape juice, you know, Welch's, you go down, you know, Donald duck on the orange juice can, uh, whatever, whatever you could, whatever the companies could think of in their marketing to induce kids to drink juice. Well, uh, maybe diet uh, and now juices gets linked in the same sentence with diet sodas. How so? Diet sodas and juices are now linked to a higher stroke risk, according to this new piece of research. Now, some people view uh, the irony here 
is that many view diet drinks as a healthier beverage option than just regular old sugary soda. And fruit juices, fruit drinks, fruit drinks, which are often not juice at all, there's some mix of juice and whatever else they put in there. And then there's fruit juices as well. In the uh, latest uh, look at popular beverages, researchers found that older women who drank more diet drinks tended to have a greater risk for stroke and heart disease in this study. This study was published in a journal appropriately named Stroke. Uh, they studied more than 180, excuse me, they studied more than 81,000 postmenopausal women enrolled in this very large population-based women's health initiative study. When they were three years into the study, the women were uh, asked questions about how many diet drinks they had, including low-calorie sodas and fruit beverages with artificial sweeteners. Uh, and, and how much did they consume in the past three months? An average follow-up of nearly 12 years, the scientists found that women who drank two or more artif artificially sweetened drinks a day, catch this, had a 23% higher risk of having any type of stroke and a 31% increase of risk of having a stroke due to clotting in blood-brain vessels or brain blood vessels compared to women who reported drinking fewer than one beverage a week or none at all. Now, you may be wondering, well, what is, what's the connection? Good question. What, what would be the hypothesis? Um, there are, I remember uh, in my, one of my courses, it was the uh, pathophysi pathophysiological basis of metabolic diseases. In that course, we talked a lot about artificial sweeteners and their deleterious effects. And I'm just telling you, they may be artificial chemically, but their, their consequences are real. I'm not a fan. I don't like them. Uh, they're too sweet for me. Uh, there's just too much, too much risk as far as I'm concerned. And there are some that even the government U.S. government says that some, these sweeteners are safe. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the products. I respectfully disagree. So, be, you're, you know, we try to make you aware of, in an interesting and entertaining way, if you can, um, about these kinds of ideas and principles and outcomes associated with food. Food has consequences here. When I use the word food, I mean nutrition. Of course, nutrition means food and the metabolizing of food, the digestion of food, and all the things that happen with food, uh, and even the production of food and the marketing of food. It, I use it in a very broad sense. In my training as a nutritionist, you know, I, I tend to be more um, less like a dietitian. I, I find them to be, generally speaking, more conservative in their approach. My training, my professors, and my own thinking and my own personality and the way I'm wired, I tend to be more open-minded about nutrition. Well, you got to look at the bigger picture of everything, though. You try. You know, you don't want to have blinders on. Yeah, you don't want to be in a silo, right? Silo thinking. You know, you know what the, you know the feed that's in that silo, but that's all you know. So we want to be out in the field. I want to be in the field, literally. My guest is uh, Lisa Kilgore. She's a nutritionist as well, and we love having her on. She is an educator for Flora. Lisa, welcome back to the show. It's great to have you on. Thanks for having me on. You have any? You have any comment or a reaction to what I just reported? Well, it's not surprising. Um, my favorite kind of way to look at food is a very simple Michael Pollan quote. One of my favorite authors. Oh yeah, I and like Michael. Eat. I love him. It's uh, eat food. Not too much, mostly plants. And if you stick with that, <laughs> you're, you're pretty much golden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on my shelves, at my bookshelves at home, uh, in my library, I have Michael Pohl in there. He's there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah how would book. you describe your diet? 
My, well, I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, so I, I'm, I'm not a mainstream nutritionist per se. Um, and I eat the way you'd expect a holistic nutritionist to eat. I, I eat a lot of whole foods. I'm not a vegetarian. That doesn't work for me. Um, but I do eat a lot of plant-based foods. Um, but um, ethically grown um, meats are, are a part of my diet. Mm-hmm. And um, I, my diet has a lot of fat in it because that's what feels good to me. And that's not always good for everybody else, but it's what's good for me. Mm-hmm. So my diet is unique to my constitution, and that's how I work with my clients as well, is I help them find what, what their constitution wants, what their um, body yeah. is looking for, and how to find the signs of that. Do you have any amendments to your constitution? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing that, and thank you for sharing your experience in working in an integrative cancer clinic. Uh, everything that you said resonated with me. And I experienced, and uh, because of my own experience with it, um, I've been talking a lot on this show about living mindfully, living in mm-hmm. the moment. I don't necessarily talk about mindful meditation, but I talk about mindful living. Living in the moment, like this moment with you. This is the only moment that exists for me at this moment. That's it. This is it. Mm-hmm. I'm here with you and no place else, right? And that's yeah. that's... That was the only way I could make it. Uh, that I, I didn't realize that until I got on the other side of all the treatment. You know, 36 hours of chemo, 31 hours of radiation, and four surgeries later, uh, two years later, I realized what I did to make it. Because I kept getting the question, Dr. Garko, how did you do it? You came to work every day, this and that. And I would say, I don't know. And then one day I had an epiphany and I realized what I did. And it was what you just said, living in the moment. It was instinctive, Lisa. It was either that or die, you know. So. And, and there's, there, there, there's a lot less stress in the moment because in the moment is just now. It's not all the other things to think about. And so there's a lot of healing in that. Yeah. Well, you're very insightful. Um, you didn't squander you you didn't squander the opportunity to learn in working in that clinic in that integrative cancer clinic. We come back we'll have Lisa tell you about Flora and their wonderful products. They're great. Ridgecrest Herbal's original clear line
Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. The featured guest today is Lisa Kilgore. Uh, Lisa, welcome back. Uh, why did you want to be a spokesperson, uh, educator for Flora? Because I use their products with my clients, and they work really, really well. And so it was through their them noticing that I talk about their products a lot and use them a lot that they brought me in as an educator. And so there's a handful of products that I talk about for them because they're the ones that I have the most experience with. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. That's good enough for me. Uh, the uh, the well, let me just ask you this: What, what did you want to serve for dinner today? <laughs> Oh, it's it's seven in the morning. I haven't even thought about that. Well, Actually, well, no. breakfast. What do you want to serve up here? My, my, it's a metaphor for what is on your mind. So, uh, what we want to what what um, I'd like to talk about is iron deficiency um, and the how common it is, the symptoms of it, and then a great solution, which is Flora's Flora Dix uh, pro, uh, solution of iron, which is incredibly absorbable. I I re, I recommend that product. Um, all the time to people, all the time. I mean, it was my, my I, I gave it to my mom a, a lot. I mean, she had iron deficiency. It was always a battle. Uh, and that product was, was really great for her. Uh, it was wonderful. Go it's ahead. The best selling, the best selling iron in North America. So, I, so a lot of people I, agree with you mm, and your mom. Yeah. Well, She's no longer here with me, but uh, she is, but she's not uh, physically. And she she loved the product. It didn't constipate her. It was easy to take. Uh, tasted good. It was. It, the nurses uh, would always ask me, you know, uh, how how do you keep your mom's iron levels up? We have such a difficult time with our with the patients uh, with low iron. What are you doing? And I I would tell them that, and they would they would go get the Floridix for their for their uh, patients. Yeah. So mm -hmm. go ahead and talk about it any way you like. I, I'm, I'm all ears. Well, the, the issue is, is iron deficiency, which can, which the main symptom is unbelievable exhaustion. Um, I work with a lot of people with iron deficiency, especially women are very prone to it and, um, and elderly people. And you, uh, so many times somebody will say to me, oh, I'm, uh, my iron is always low. And I'll ask them, well, are you taking iron? Because you're also really tired. And they'll say, no, because I don't like how it feels. It, it's constipating. My digestive system doesn't like it. And they, hadn't, they didn't know there was other options. And that's why I like talking about Floridex, because it is a highly absorbable, but also gentle for the digestive system form of iron. So anybody can take it, and they will get the results. Um, it's clinically proven, um, and it's this really unique um, solution of iron. So the iron has been dissolved into a base of organic, biodynamically grown, fermented foods and herbs. Um, and so it's, get, it's inside this food base, making this very difficult mineral so much easier to absorb. 877-897-8255, mm 877-897-TALK. -hmm. You're listening to... And watching, uh, because we have our image up on the screen. You know, by the way, you can call into the show and we can stream you live. You know that, right? Yes, but it's always very early for, for me. so I'm, I'm You can wear your pajamas. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, my, well, I was on your website during that, uh, that last set of messages, and I see that you have a lot of posts on Facebook. Uh, you know, you're like always talking about health issues so you're you're not shy with mm -hmm. the camera you might want to we, we would love to have you um stream in some morning you don't have you know there's only i don't know how many thousands of people will be watching worldwide but you know it's okay no no pressure no, <laughs> no pressure um iron, <laughs> uh, iron deficiency anemia uh, i remember um there was a product, you're too young to remember this, it was called Geritol. And they had a commercial on TV, they ran Geritol. And it was all about iron deficiency anemia. I can, it was these black and white commercials, Gary will find them. Uh, that, that theme has been in the discourse of nutrition for decades and decades and decades. But iron deficiency anemia is of course due to insufficient iron, when you don't have enough iron, you can't produce enough hemoglobin. Well, why is hemoglobin in, in the red blood cells? That in, uh, why is that important? Well, hemoglobin does what? 
It's an oxygen carrier. <laughs> you can't get oxygen to the cells if you don't have, right, and that's why you feel so fatigued. Uh, but that's it. I just put that in a little thimble. It's a bigger narrative than that, but you get the point. Uh, what else did you, uh, the Floridix, uh, that, that product is worldwide, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's from the company Salus, um, which Flora it distributes, and they, they're based in Germany. And um, they, they grow all of their herbs on a biodynamic farm in Chile. Um, they've been around for 100 years. Yep. And the grandson of the founder of Salus actually runs Flora in North America. So the son of the original uh, owner uh, runs Salus in Germany, and then the grandson runs uh, Flora in North America. So it's a family-owned company, and um, it's been around forever, and they really um, are particular in the formulation. And they chose um, a solution of iron, which means the iron is dissolved in the liquid because you get a 98% absorption versus a tablet, which is only like 20%, or a solution, or sorry, a suspension, which is what most liquid irons are. Most liquid irons, they, and they'll say there's suspension, which means the iron is just kind of floating in the liquid. That yeah. only gives a 20% absorption as well, just like a tablet. Right. Whereas with Floridix, you're getting a 98% absorption. That means your, your dosing is lower, and um, therefore it's not going to cause... And the, effect, and, the effect is, and the effect is greater, so... Yeah. yeah. You get you get a heck of a lot more with a lot less. Gary was just showing, just as I described, the black and white TV commercials on Geritol. I, there are the people listening and watching this show. I promise you, have seen those commercials, <laughs> the Geritol commercials. Yeah, I remember that guy. Look at that guy. Oh my God, Geritol. Iron deficiency anemia. It's a serious health issue. We'll be right back. Don't be stressed out or anxious. Take hemp.
iron deficiency um, can result in anemia. There's there is some conceptual confusion that surrounds these terms. You have iron deficiency, you have anemia, and then you can have the, the phrase iron deficiency anemia. Turns out uh, iron deficiency results in anemia as iron is necessary to make hemoglobin, which is the, a very important molecule in red blood cells. Why are they important? Because they are, they are the transporter of oxygen. And iron deficiency anemia, your red blood cells, when, when you look at them under a microscope, they, they are abnormal and unusually small. The term is mic they are microcytic. They're small and they're hypochromic, meaning they're pale. So uh, the pallor of red, blood, of red cells reflects low hemoglobin content. My guest is uh, Lisa Kilgore, educator for Flora, talking about iron deficiency. Uh, Lisa, do you, uh, how do you separate out that? There's iron deficiency, there's anemia, iron deficiency anemia. Do you separate those out, or how do you deal with that, those concepts? Well, I, I like to always look at their ferritin levels, which is their iron stores. And so you can, your hemoglobin can be fine, so you're not anemic, but your iron stores can be low, and that can still be, cause a lot of exhaustion, because it's kind of like that precursor to anemia. Um, so I'm always, I keep an eye on both, um, but most of the people who come to see me aren't quite anemic yet, but they have iron deficiency, so their ferritin levels are low. And that, that's still well tired, said. And still feeling the symptoms. That's well described. Anemia is a lack of hemoglobin. Iron deficiency is a lack of iron. So you could have a lack of iron and still not be anemic, right? Yeah. But you, you can't be, if you're anemic, uh, uh, do you have low iron? Well, there is a type of anemia that's B12 driven. So uh, sometimes it's not. Uh -huh. But most of the time, yes, it's, you're uh, iron deficient if you're anemic. 877-897-8255. You can talk to Lisa Kilgore. She's easy to talk to. How much do you take of the Floridex? It, it depends on the level where your iron level is, um, but most of the time you take a 10 mil dose one to three times a day. So you can take that higher dose if, you're, if your iron level is really low or if you're just like, suspecting it's low or your diet is low in iron because women need 18 milligrams of iron a day and men need at least eight. And that can be really hard to do. And so that 18 milligrams can be made, uh, 10 of it can be made up by just taking a 10 mil dose of Floridix. Uh, what foods would be good to eat that are rich in iron? Well, the, uh, the heme iron, which is especially easy to absorb, um, those would be found in things like red meat and liver and a lot of, and eggs and animal protein. Um, and, but vegetarians and vegans do struggle with their iron levels more so than most, generally than most meat eaters. Um, uh, but you still can get a lot of iron in beans and spinach, um, and other foods, but you need a source of vitamin C with them. Uh, which is why, like in spinach, we usually had that with some lemon or um, some citrus inside the salad or with, with the, um, it's easier to absorb if you actually um, saute or steam your, your, green, your leafy greens. But you can, like, it, it is possible to get enough iron, but each one of these are low doses. Yeah. So you have to have multiple sources right. of iron every day. Right. Uh, Gary, didn't I write and voice a commercial? For Flora Dix, and you produced it? Yes, it uh, played at the top of the hour. I wondered why it sounded familiar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I heard that, yes. <laughs> yeah. what, did you like it? I did. It was a good one. Yeah, well, thank you. We do okay, you know. 877 897 8255. You probably, when you get off the phone, you probably wonder there's something wrong with that man down there in Florida, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, you know, talking about health is a serious matter. If you make it dark and, uh, if it's death, dying, disease, and depression, people are not going to listen or watch the show, Lisa. So <laughs> you got to find a way to, um, you know, uh, not lighten it up, but, uh, make it, make it so that you don't, there, you always have to have a sense of hope, right? You got to have a sense. And healthy eating doesn't need to be difficult. Um, we, we make that's it difficult. Right. That's uh, right. We, but it doesn't need to be. You're so right about that. Um, you live in Canada. Do you live in British Columbia, Ontario? I do. You live in British I Columbia. In, I do, yes. Mm -hmm. 
I live in wine country. Yeah, you live out. I, there's a photograph of you. It looks like you're out in the woods there. Uh, you're holding a cup with a gray sweater on. That's on your Facebook yeah, page. It's about five minutes away from my house. Yeah. You like I it? live on a vineyard. You live in a vineyard. Uh, do, you, do you like living there? I do. I'm originally from Ontario, from Toronto, and I've been out here for 10 years now, and I, I love it. I, I can't imagine being anywhere else. You can't imagine being anywhere else. Hmm. Do uh, you think it has had an impact on your health? Extremely so. Um, I noticed within a year of moving here, um, my hair had stopped growing in Toronto, and that that resolved itself without even me realizing it when I moved out here, as everybody else commented when they saw me. Um, my uh, It was easier to find balance. It was easier to eat healthy. There was less pollution to deal with. And I just, like, I, I have a full lake view, and I live around trees. It's hard to be stressed out, even though I'm self-employed and stress exists in my world. I can also just walk outside and look at the lake and be near trees, and suddenly my stress level goes down. I need, I need nature is what I learned when I moved out here. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. Um uh that company that, that makes the Floridix so, 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 Solus? Solus, yeah. Solus, yes. Uh is that is that a family owned company? It is. That's the amazing part. It's still owned by the same family and the grandson of the original founder a hundred years ago, this company's been around for a hundred years, is the founder and president of Flora in North America. So, so they're, the two companies are very connected, and they're entirely family-owned. Yeah, it's a German company, yes? Yes, yeah, they're based in Germany. Mm-hmm. They, uh, if you, uh, their website, is it, is it florahealth.com? Yes, it is. And I invite the listener and the viewer, this, I just got to tell you, this is, a, this is my own, I can give you a first-hand account of this product. Uh, it is, in my opinion, among the best of the best iron products out there in the marketplace. Physicians need to know about this this product and work it into their practice. Uh, it will it will serve your patients and and do them a world of good. You don't have to worry about your patient becoming constipated. You don't have to worry about the patient being non-compliant. You don't need the courage of a uh, uh, Navy Seal to take the product. It tastes good. Uh, it, it's wonderful, easy, uh, and just great tradition. And uh, the way they, they the way they make the product, it's just yeah, it's all good. And they're they're it's you know how do I know it, the product's been around a long time, uh, so it must work. We come back. I know it works. When we come back, uh, we'll have the LTN Health question of the day, and uh, if you have the right answer. As we always have done for almost 14 years now, we give a uh, give you a 20 you earn and win a $25 supplement gift card. Lisa Kilgore, coast to coast and globally.
so here's the LTN health question of the day. I was talking about consuming, eating ultra-processed foods. You do that with some risk here. Let me be more specific. Uh, the study was published in JAMA Internal Medicine. It's a pretty prestigious uh, journal. It, it, it's certainly not uh, a comic book, I can tell you. They found that with each 10% increase in the proportion of ultra-processed foods that people consumed in, uh, in their day-to-day -day diet, there was a certain percent of higher risk of death. So with each 10% of increase in proportion of ultra-processed foods that the study participants ate, what was the percent of increased risk of death? Hmm. Was it uh, 7%, 14%, or 28%? What was the percent of increased risk for death with each 10% increase in the proportion of all ultra-processed foods eaten or consumed? 7%, 14%, or 28%? If you have the right answer, you'll win a $25 supplement gift card. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Ultra-processed foods and have become so uh, pervasive in the food culture here uh, that people that eat a high-processed food, ultra-processed food diet, I told Gary during, the, uh, during that break, commercial break, I said, no, no embalming necessary. They die and that's it. I mean, they have so many chemicals. The, the chemicals that are used in these foods, uh, just remarkable. Lisa Kilgore, as I've been our guest, been a great guest today. Lisa, welcome back. Um, so I'm here at the FloraHealth.com website, and I clicked on products. Uh, detox and cleansing, natural foods, omega oils, personal care, pet care, probiotics and enzymes, sports nutrition, supplements, teas, vitamins, and minerals. It's quite an array, man. And under each, they, under, and, go ahead. And they fo they focus on whole foods, so so each one of these, you're looking at a high high quality uh, supplement. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me click on here. I was. Let me click on uh, under foods. They have apple cider vinegar, uh, culinary oils, and uh, superfoods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what are what are culinary oils? There are oils that, um, like like extra virgin olive oil and pumpkin seed oil. So these are oils used in food. So they're properly, like really beautifully pressed uh, oils. That's flora really shines on pressing. They use tiny little presses, um, and they, it allows them to create these really nice oils that we can then use for cooking and in our food. Uh, you said pumpkin seed oil. And sesame seed, there's even Sasha Inchi uh, oil, which is a great omega um, essential fatty acid oil. Here's the, health, here's the health question for today. In this study on consuming ultra-processed foods, they found that for every 10% increase uh, uh, in proportion of eating these foods, there was a certain percent of increased risk for death. What, I'll, I'll make it easy. Was it seven percent or fourteen, uh, uh, or excuse me, seven percent or fourteen percent? What was the risk, increased risk uh, of death in eating? You know, in each ten percent increase in eating these foods. Just think about that. Each ten percent increase. I mean, that wow. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. What was the what was the percent uh, risk of higher risk of death? 7% or 14%? Or yes, you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Uh, how do you feel about uh, the consumption of oils? Fats are really important for the body. The, every cell needs um, good quality fats to make the cell membrane, so it, it affects how our cells function. But, but the important thing is the quality of oils that you use because there's a huge difference between a vegetable oil, a yellow vegetable oil that can sit on the shelves for years in plastic containers and be fine versus one of these beautifully pressed culinary oils that still have flavors and smells of the food they were pressed from. 
and antioxidants. These these are the types of oils that are much more healing for the body, but they don't have a long shelf life, and they have to be treated gently. Um, but they're really, really, really good for the body, important for the body. Extra virgin olive oil, hydrotherm almond oil, hydrotherm pumpkin oil, and hydrotherm sesame oil, hydrotherm sunflower oil, and hydrotherm sacha inchi oil. Hmm. Uh, do you cook with any of those oils? Um, some of them you can use on low heat, but most of those you want to be adding to your food afterwards. You After. don't want to destroy the important, like the Sacha Inchi oil is full of omega-3s and 6, 3, 6, and 9s. Mm-hmm. And um, Udo's oil, which is another famous oil of theirs, these are ones that you never want to heat up because they were, uh, you'll lose some you'll of You'll oxidize them. Three, Yes, exactly. Omega-3 fatty acids in particular do not like being heated, and you'll lose them entirely. Um, Extra virgin olive oil at very low heat can be okay, um, but the um, good quality saturated fats like organic butter or coconut oil are much better for cooking. Yeah. I've spoken with Udo um, Erasmus, um, and um, he told me on air that he uses the oils, but he won't cook with them. You know. No, never, uh, especially his oil, the Udo's oil. That's always something you want to, you can add to your food, but it needs to be off the heat first. Thank you for coming on to the show today and uh, sharing. Um, let's go to Mildred in Palm Harbor. Mildred, what's the answer? Hello? Yes, what's the answer? Uh, the highest number. 14%. <laughs> 14%, Mildred, you're absolutely right. For every 10% increase in proportion of eating these foods, there was a 14% increased risk of death. Mildred, thank you so much. We haven't heard you for a while. Don't make yourself such a stranger. Well, I've been here. Okay. <laughs> I visited Stewart yesterday. They were giving 15% off your, off, your, uh, off your order. All right. There you go. You're in business. Thank you, Mildred. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate you being on the show today, Lisa. Uh, we... We, we love your passion. We love your authenticity, your knowledge. You're, you're always welcome on Let's Talk Nutrition anytime you want. Thanks so much for having me. Have a wonderful day up there in uh, beautiful British Columbia in the vineyards. <laughs> I will. And have a nice warm day in Tampa. I hear it, the weather forecast sounds lovely. Oh, it's beautiful here. This is the best time of year. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your health. Take care of your health because your health is your wealth. And your health is the wealth of those that care about and love you. Everyone's raving about the newest botanical superstar hitting the store shelves nationwide. Hemp-derived cannabis.